Hi, this is Anu and welcome back to my channel. It is here, finally, my tutorial for the one piece bathing suit. Many of you had asked me to create a bathing suit that is a little more covering than the monokini but still is a one piece bathing suit. So I obliged, it took me a little longer than I thought it would. Just life, life gets in the way, but you know, anyway, it is here, I'm super happy, I'm super happy to share it with you and I really hope you will like it. And uh, yeah, and it came out, I think, I think it came out okay. Anyway, without further ado, here it is. What do you think? It is a one-piece bathing suit, as promised, and it is very covering. It covers all the front and the back goes really high. So it is perfect for ladies like us that do not wish to show too much skin. This tutorial today is for a size small but I will post on my blog in the next few days the written pattern for the medium, a large and an extra large. So stay posted. Here is the link for my blog with all the written patterns if you are interested in it. So the yarn I used for this beautiful bathing suit is the Alice yarn I talked about in my yarnology segment. I will put the link of that video in the info box down below so you can check it out. I give you all the info about this yarn. It's a stretchy yarn that I absolutely love. Many of you told me that you couldn't find it unless you go online. I agree, I also bought it on Etsy. I will put the link to the Etsy stores where you can find it. I think it's a Portuguese yarn, so it's not sold, I don't think, in the United States. And I really liked the way it crocheted and um, actually tested the bathing suit, put it in the water, it did not move. So yeah, that's a plus. Please let me know if you have yarns that you like that are stretchy and that are not cotton um, and you know fingering or sport weight material then let me know if you hear noises it's my dog the poor thing gets spayed and she has a cone and she hates it yeah so here is the bathing so let me show it to you so this is the top with the straps and the way I made it is that we begin with the bottom and then we narrow it down for the waist and then we widen it for the chest part. Mm. Mm, I love it. Yeah, it came out really pretty. I absolutely love it. I cannot wait for the nice weather to come so I will be able to wear this bathing suit. Ooh, gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. Loving the stretchy material. It really has some give. So the fact that it is one piece and covers the front and the back is very forgiving. Way more forgiving than the monokini because, you know, we come in uh, every shape and every form and not everybody feels comfortable uh, bearing flesh on the sides, etc., etc. Oh, by the way, you have to watch on Facebook those two ladies that did a skit on um, women's bathing suits. I will put the link down below. Hilarious. They are adorable. Uh, and I could relate. <laughs> so the tutorial is quite long. So, you know, get a candle, coffee, tea, a little glass of Pinot Grigio. <laughs> if you are not subscribed to my channel, then don't hesitate to do so. It is totally free. Don't hesitate also to hit the little bell next to the subscribe button so you can get a notification every time I post something. Since um, I post quite sporadically lately, <laughs> sometimes more often, sometimes less. But when I share something with you, I want it to be as perfect as I can. And that's why sometimes Sometimes it takes a few extra days. Um, yeah, but I love the fact that you're patient with me. And thank you also for all your nice comments. And thank you to be just part of my growing crochet family. I love our community, absolutely love it. I try to answer each and every one of your comments or questions, but sometimes I can't because of life, you know, that gets in the way. <laughs> um, but. Yes, I am looking forward to many more tutorials. I haven't decided what tutorial I am going to do next, so don't hesitate to come and visit me on my social media, especially on Facebook, and we can discuss about what you would like me to make next. 
would love to know. So if you are interested to create this beautiful one-piece bathing suit, then keep on watching and in the meantime, happy crochet. See you next time. For this tutorial, you will need 300 grams, that is three skins of the yarn Alice in Diva Stretch. You can choose any fingering or sock yarn of your choice as long as it is you also need a crochet hook 2.75 millimeters, scissors, a tapestry needle and two stitch markers. Take your crochet hook and your yarn and make a slip knot. And then proceed by making chains. You will have to make 101 chains in total. See how that yarn is stretchy? It's perfect for our bathing suits. Right, so chain away until we have 101 chains. And right now we are creating the bottom of our bathing suit and we're beginning with the back. All right, so for your first row, you are going to single crochet in the second chain from your hook. And then you're going to single crochet in each and every one of the stitches that present themselves to you. And at the end of your first row, you will have a hundred stitches. And then you're going to turn your work around and chain one and you're going to make a second row of single crochet in each and every stitch. At the end of your second row you will still have 100 stitches. And you will repeat for your third row, single crochet all along. All right, so we are done with our third first rows. For your fourth row, you are going to decrease at the beginning and at the end of your row. And I will show you exactly how. All right, when you decrease, no need to chain one at the beginning of your row. Pass your crochet hook through the first stitch. Yarn over and right back through that stitch. Repeat in the next, pass through the stitch, yarn over, right back to the stitch. Then you will have three loops on your crochet hook, yarn over and through all those loops. And you just turn two stitches into one. And now you're going to single crochet along your fourth row for 96 stitches in total. You will have two stitches left at the end of your row. And in those two last stitches, you're going to decrease exactly the same way as the beginning. So turning those two last stitches into one. At the end of your fourth row, you will have 98 stitches in total. Then for row five, six, and seven, you are going to chain one and single crochet all along and then turn. At the end of these rows, you will have 98 stitches still. And when you reach your eighth row, we're going to decrease at the beginning and at the end of the row again. So no need to chain one at the beginning and decrease the same way we did at the fourth row. Here you go. And then single crochet all along for 94 stitches until you reach the two last stitches of your eighth row. So you see the diagonal there? That means we're decreasing and it's creating the shape of the back of the bottom of your beading suit. Here are the two last stitches and this is what you are going to do. Decreasing, turning the two stitches into one. And now we're going to tackle the ninth row and for that you're going to chain one and single crochet all along, still having 96 stitches at the end of your ninth row. And repeat this for the 10th and the 11th row. 
Just chain one single crochet all along your 96 stitches. There you go, this is what your work will look like. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. We are at the end of our 11th row and for our 12th row we're going to decrease at the beginning. Single crochet, 92 stitches, 92, yeah, 92 stitches and then decrease turning the two last stitches into one. At the end of your 12th row you will have 94 stitches in total. Chain one and turn your work around. We are at the 13th row. So for your row 13, you're going to decrease, turning the two first stitches into one, only at the beginning of the row. Now you're going to decrease, and then you're going to single crochet all along the rest of your stitches, 92 stitches in total. At the end of your row 13, you will have 93 stitches in total. See, that's the end of your row, and you're just making a single crochet in the last stitch. No more decreasing at the end of the row. Only at the beginning from now on for the next few rows. There you go. So this is your 14th row. And again, turning the two first stitches into one. Great and then continuing by single crocheting all along. This is what your work will look like. I think I am here at the end of the 17th row, about, or 18. So you see how it's turning into a trapezoid shape. This is what you want. And we're going to continue like that, narrowing the back of the bottom of your bathing suit for it to cover your bum. All right, so you are going to continue exactly in this way, only decreasing at the beginning of your row until the end of row 54. And at the end of row 54, you will have 52 stitches in total. And yeah, this is what your work will look like. Gorgeous. And now for a few rows, we're going to decrease at the beginning and at the end of your row again. So we are at row 55. All right, so now you are at the 55th row. And then for that row, we're going to decrease again at the beginning and the end of your row. So you're going to decrease single, two, single crochet two together, the same way we did at the beginning of the back and then you are going to single crochet 48 regular stitches and decrease the two last stitches. So at the end of your 55th row you will have you will have 50 stitches in total and you are going to continue in this pattern from row 56 to 73 decreasing at the beginning and at the end of each row and at the end of your row 73, you will have 14 stitches left in total. And now we're going to just single crochet uh, along to create that in between your leg part. And it's a straight kind of a little um, band. And for that, you are going to just single crochet along, turn, single crochet all along for a number of rows. So now you're done with the back part of the bottom of your um, one-piece bedding suit. We're making the little strip that goes in between your leg. And, and then once we're done with this, we will do the front part of the bottom of your one-piece bedding suit.
Now for the back part, we had 100 chains and then we decreased. And for the front part, we're going to increase. And increasing is really simple. It's just, you know, making two single crochets in one same stitch. Uh, but I'll, of course, show you exactly how to do it. So right now we are at the 92nd row. So chain one, turn your work around and you're going to make two single crochets in that first stitch. Therefore, increasing. And that's easy. That's all there is to it. And then you're going to single crochet along in each and every of the 12 stitches that present themselves to you. And in the last stitch, you're going to make two single crochets in that same stitch. You therefore increased on this row two stitches, one at the beginning and one at the end. So at the end of this row, you will have 16 stitches in total. Chain one and turn your work around. That was row 92 and now for row 93 you're going to chain one and single crochet all along your 16 stitches. Turn your work around, chain one, and for row 94, again, you're going to increase in the first stitch, so making two single crochet in that first stitch. Then you're going to make 14 single crochet, and in that last stitch, you're going to make two single crochet in that last stitch. So at the end of your row 94, you will have 18 stitches. And on row 95, you're going to turn your work around, chain one and single crochet all along. At the end of row 95, you will have 18 stitches still. So you get it. So those two rows, one increasing at the beginning and at the end, the next one just single crocheting all along will be the pattern. You will make those two rows until you reach the end of row 106. At the end of row 106, you should have 30 stitches in total. And this is what your work will look like. And now for row 107 until row 114, you're going to increase again at the beginning and at the end of each row. Until the end of row 114, at the end of row 114, you will have 46 stitches in total. And this is what your work will look like. And now from row 115 till row 138, I will increase only at the beginning of the row. So make two single crochets in the first stitch and then single crochet all along. Turn your work around, chain one and continue like that until you have 70 stitches in total. Now from row 139 to 143, you are going to increase again at the beginning and the end of each row. So two single crochet in the first stitch, single crochet along and two single crochet in the last stitch. At the end of row 143, you will have 80 stitches in total. 
time to link between the front and the back and I'm going to show you how to do that and from now on we will be crocheting in the round so no more rows and hello rounds so you're going to chain eight And you are going to take the back of your work and you're going to single crochet in that first corner stitch at the top of the back of your work. That was the first uh, row that we had done when we began this fading suit. And you are going to pick up each and every stitch. You should have a hundred stitches picked up from the back. Okay, so you have single crocheted along the back of your bottom. You've reached the end of, of your 100 single crochet you just picked up. And you're going to chain eight. And this time you're going to join with the right corner of the front of your bathing suit. And again, picking up the first little stitch there, or here you go, of the last row from the top, the front part of the bottom of your bathing suit. We had 80 stitches at the end in the last row, and you're going to pick up each and every one of those 80 stitches. You're creating the first round of the body of your one-piece bathing suit. All right, so I have picked up those 80 stitches. This is what my work will look like. It's beginning to look like a bathing suit. <laughs> that would be a very nice bikini bottom part. You could stop there if you needed a bikini bottom, but we are going to continue and I'm so excited finally to create a one-piece bathing suit. All right, so you're going to pick up, you remember that chain that we did to link those um, two parts? You're going to pick in each and every one of those chains and making a single crochet in it. And then when you reach um, the back of your bottom, you're going to again pick up each and every stitch, each and every of your hundred stitches. Hundred and ninety-six stitches, so eighty from the front, eight of that chain to tie the front and the back, hundred stitches in the back, and another extra eight to tie the back to the front to link the back to the front. So in total, 196 stitches. And that's for the size small to medium. All right, then for your round three, we are going to begin to create our star stitch pattern. All right, so let's begin to create our star stitch. You are going to chain three, here you go, and in the second chain from your hook, you're going to pass your crochet hook through that second chain, yarn over, and pass it again. You have two loops on your crochet hook, in the third chain from your hook, you do the same. Pass your crochet hook, yarn over, and back through that chain. You have three loops on your crochet hook. Now you're going to go into each of the next three stitches and repeat. Pass it through the stitch, but you're going to only pass it to the back of that little stitch, not in the front. See how it does a V only in the back. Yarn over and back through that stitch. Four loops on your crochet hook. Repeat to the next. Crochet hook through the stitch, yarn over and back to the stitch again. You have five loops on your crochet hook. And once again in the next stitch, but only in the back loop, right? And you will have six loops on your crochet hook. And now what you're going to do is yarn over and through all those six loops that are on your crochet hook. And that's your first half star made. Now you're going to chain two 
and you see that little space there at right at the base of your chin too that little space you're going to pass your crochet hook then again yarn over and pass it back Two loops on your crochet hook then it in that little stitch there in that little that little space there that's where you're going to pass your crochet hook yarn over and pass it right back at this point you have three loops on your crochet hook and then as we did before in the three next stitches only taking the back part of the stitch you're going to repeat the same steps Pass your crochet hook through that stitch, yarn over and right back through it. Six loop on your crochet hook, yarn over and through all those loops. And you created that second half star. And that's what you're going to do all around that third round of your, of the body of your bathing suit. At the end of your third round, you will have a 64 half little stars. And you see here, I am finishing my third round, making my last half star. And I finish it by chaining two, and then I'm going to slip stitch at the top, pointy top right there of the first half star I had created. Right there, just slip stitch. And you are done with your third round. Put a stitch marker there so you know where your uh, round begins or ends. For the fourth round, we're going to make three half double crochets in each of that little round space that you see on top of your half star. See that little empty circle there? That's where you're going to do your three half double crochets. And in the next, and you're going to do that all around that fourth round. And that is actually going to create the second half of your star. Can you see the stars? How pretty! I love this stitch so much. I used it in another tutorial already in my baby top tutorial, part of my baby layette set. I'll put the link down below if you're interested, but I think it's perfect for this bathing suit as well. All right, so I'll meet you at the end of your fourth round. All right, here is your last star. The three, double, the three half double crochet in your last little circle, creating your last star, and you're done with your fourth round. Slip stitch with the first chain you had made, the first half double crochet you had made at the beginning of round four. And chain one, and then in that same stitch make a single crochet, and make a single crochet on top of each half double crochet from the previous round. At the end of the round, you will have 195 stitches. And here you go, this is what your work will look like. Look how pretty, so beautiful. I love the way it looks with the use of this stretchy yarn. This Alice yarn is so beautiful. And really perfect for this bathing suit. All right, so we are done with our fifth round just going to single crochet on top of each and every one of the last half double crochet and then slip stitch with the first single crochet you had made at the beginning of your fifth round and for the sixth round chain one and you are going to again make one 
single crochet in each and every one of the stitches but you're only going to take the back loop of the stitch so single crocheting all around for that six round but in the back loop only creating that little ridge giving a little more definition on top of your star So continue crocheting all around for that six round in the back loop only of your stitch. Here you go and this is what your work will look like. It's so so pretty. And for your seventh and eighth round, you are going to just single crochet all around. Alright, now time for round 9 where we are going to begin to do the start stitch pattern again. So it's the bottom part of the star first, so exactly like we had done on round 3, ending up with 64 stars in total. And then round 10 will be the upper part of the star, exactly like we had done on round 4. And this is creating our second row of star stitch. Alright, now for round 11 you will single crochet all around in each and every half double crochet from round 10. Round 12 you will be single crochet all around too, but only in the back loops and then 13 and 14 single crochet all around which brings us to round 15 Alright guys, so here is where we are now and from now on we are going to begin to decrease every uh, often I'll tell you exactly when but we want to try to create the narrowing of the waist and that's what we're going to do and the way we are going to decrease is that we're going to decrease on the last row before the star design the first star is here that we made then we made three single crochets around in total and then another star and then the next time we're going to do four single crochet rounds rounds and the decrease will happen on that fourth round the last round before the next star and then for the next round instead of doing four single crochet rounds, we're going to add one and do five single crochet rounds and the decrease will happen on that fifth round right before the next star and that's what we're going to do for all of our decreases so we had 64 stars at the beginning and we're going to decrease by two stars every time so we're going to decrease by six stitches in the fourth uh, round of crochet right there that means minus two stars because each and every star is made out of three stitches so since we're going to decrease every time by six stitches therefore we're going to decrease two stars sure you see 64 stars in the two first stars patterns then we would have 62 and 60 there Okay, so we are at the 15th round. Time for our first decrease. On that 14th round, you want to decrease by six stitches, which makes two stars. So you're going to decrease evenly. 
So let's say now we have 195 stitches. Divide this number by six. In my case, it's about 33 or 32. It's not an even number. So it's 32 and a half. It doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be exact. Every 30 second stitch of this round, you are going to decrease. And whatever number you have, divide it by six. And that's where you are going to decrease. So, and decreasing, you remember how to do it. We did it at the bottom of your bathing suit when we did the back of the bottom. And it's going to be exactly the same. So at the end of your 15th round, you will have six stitches less. In my case, it's 189. All right, time for our 16th and 17th round, which will be the star stitch pattern. So the bottom part of your star on round 16 and the upper part on round 17. And this time now you will have 62 stars. All right, so 16 and 17 are your star stitch pattern. 18 will be the single crochet on top of the half double crochet from the star pattern. Round 19 will be single crochet all around but in back loop only. And then 20, 21, 22 will be single crochet all around. And 23 will be your round of decrease where you will decrease again by six stitches, turning your 62 stars into 60 stars. So round 24 and 25 will be two rounds of star, but only with 60 stars this time. And you will continue like that, increasing, so adding one round in between the stars for a number of seven stars in total. All right, so here I am showing you how your work will look after your fifth star. And I continue a few rounds after, so I'm at about round 39 here. So we had began to decrease at the third star. So we had three rounds in between the first and the second star. And then we had four rounds in between the second and the third. Five rounds of single crochet in between the third and the fourth. Six round in between the fourth and the fifth. And we're going to have seven rounds in between the fifth and the sixth stars. I should have on my fifth round of star, I should have 58 stars in total. Um, now we are going to not increase and not decrease in the 40th round right before the sixth row of stars. Because from now on, we are done with the decreasing. We're going to go straight a little for your waist and then we will begin our increase for the chest part. See how stretchy it is? Love it. Stretchy, stretchy. All right, so here I am after my seventh row of, of stars. I still have 58 stars in total and I am at the end of round 42. So now we are done with the decrease. We crocheted straight in between the two last stars and now time to increase to create the space for the chest. Let me show you how to do it. All right, so here I am after the round 44. So round 43 after my star, I did the single crochet on top of the half double crochet from the previous round. Round 44, I did my row, my round of single crochet in back loop only. Now I am at round 45, which usually is the first round of single crochet all around. But now for this 45th round, we are going to increase all around evenly by six stitches. So until now we decreased, then we had a hole in between the two last stars that were no increase, no decrease, just straight. And now we're going to increase at this round. And I'll show you how to increase, it's super easy. And by the end of that 45th round, we will have six stitches more. So to increase, you're just going to make your single crochet regularly and in that same stitch, 
we're going to make a second single crochet. You have two single crochets in one stitch, therefore you increased by one. And you're going to repeat this six times evenly around your 45th round. All right, here I am at the end of my round 50. And for my round 50, I actually increased all around by three stitches. Remember, we had increased by six stitches at the round 45. And now we're increasing again by three stitches at round 50, which is our last round of single crochet before the star. So for our next star round, we will have, we had 58 stars before, now we will have 61 stars in total for round 51 and 52. And we are going to continue to increase like that, um, slowly, not drastically. So not nine stitches in between the two next stars because that would be too much. But you know, you're going to increase whenever you want. Just make sure that in between the two next stars, in sometimes in those single crochet rounds in between those two next stars you will increase by six and then from again in between the two next stars you will increase by three at the end of my pattern at the end of my beading suit pattern i had 10 stars in total and remember I increased by one single crochet round in between each and every star. So I began by having three rounds uh, in between the first and the second stars and then four in between the second and the third and so on and so forth. So at the end of my 10th round of star, I had 67 stars in total. And here is my last round of stars right there. So the amount of stitches you have in your last round for my size was 67 times three, since every star is made out of three stitches, just so you have an idea. After my last round of stars, I did of course the single crochet on top of each and every half double crochet. And then I did one round of single crochet, picking up only the back loop. And then I fastened off. And we are done with the body of our beading suit, which is covering your fr the front part of your body as well as the back. So it's really covering, but since it is stretchy and it's snug to your body, it's still very sexy and I think understated and very chic. All right, so time to fasten off. Take this opportunity to sew in all the loose tails that are in the back side of your work. And now we are going to make the straps. Take your bathing suit and put it the you know front facing you and fold it in half. Then take two different stitch markers and put them on the right side and the left side as you fold it. One at the left end and one at the right end. And make sure you have the same amount of stitches in the front and in the back. Take your crochet hook and your yarn and from the right stitch marker you're going to count 18 stitches. Join your yarn in the 19th stitch from your stitch marker, chain one, then continue by making two more chains. You're going to have three chains in total and then you're going to make one row of star stitch. In total you're going to make the bottom of three stars and you do not have to do it in the back of the stitch. You do it regularly. Second bottom of the star made. One more. At the end of your third star, you're going to chain two and you're going to single crochet in the next stitch. Then you're going to turn your work around and the first row of your strap is done. 
For the second row, you're going to chain one and you're going to make your three half double crochets in each of the little circles, creating the top part of your star stitch. And that is your second row and you still have three stars. We are going to decrease to two stars soon and I'll show you how to. And the last three half double crochets in that last little circle. And you're going to end by single crocheting in the last stitch. In total, you should have 10 stitches. Chain one, turn your work around and single crochet in each and every one of the 10 stitches that are presenting themselves to you right on top of the half double crochets from the previous row. And that is your third row. Chain one and turn your work around. The next row will be a decrease row. So what you're going to do is you're going to turn those two first stitches into one. Then you're going to single crochet in the next two stitches and then you're going to turn the next two stitches into one again and then you're going to make two more stitches and turning the next two stitches into one. At the end of that row you should have seven stitches in total. For your next row you are going to chain three and turn your work around and this time you're going to be working on those seven stitches, making two stars, the bottom of two stars, just the same way you had done it before. Once you are done with that second star, you are going to chain two and single crochet in the last stitch. Turn your work around and chain one and make three half double crochet in those two little circles making the top part of your star. You have two stars in total at the end of this row. Turn your work around, chain one and make a single crochet in each and every one of those seven stitches. Turn your work around, chain one, and again make a second row of single crochet in each and every one of those stitches. So what you're going to do now for the rest of your strap is two rows consisting of your stars, then the single crochet on top of the half double crochet, and then two more single crochet rows and another star. And you are going to continue in that pattern until you have 12 rows of stars in total. And then we are going to increase again so we can end the back side of your strap by having a three star. So we are going to increase from two stars to three stars before we end the strap. Once you are done with the 12th row of your star stitch and you're done with the single crochet on top of each and every one of the half the Chain three and make a row of stars, the bottom of your stars, and you should have three stars at the end of that row. And the next row will be the upper part of your star. And you will end your strap by making one row of single crochet.
And now time to assemble the back of your strap to the back of your bathing suit. Place your work like so. Count 18 stitches plus 10 stitches, so 28 stitches in total. And this is how you're going to place your strap to make sure that when you assemble it together, the seam will be on the wrong side of your work. So this is the best way to assemble. Let me show you how. This is the way I place my strap. So while you are assembling your strap to the body, the right side of the strap should face, be right against the right side of your bathing suit and facing you should be the wrong side of your strap. And you're going to take the part of the stitch that is closer to you and the part of the stitch that is further away from you from the other side and you're going to slip stitch through the stitches together, one after the other, so 10 times. And then this is what the seam will look like, should look like. When you are done with your 10 slip stitches, you are going to slip stitch in the next stitch and you're going to fasten off and sew in all the loose tails. All right, so this is what your strap will look like now and we're going to do exactly the same on the opposite side. So again, from the left um, stitch marker, you're going to count 18 stitches plus 10 stitches for the strap and do exactly the same thing as what we had done for the first strap. Now that both of your straps are made, we are going to create a little edging that is going to go all around your straps. We're going to do the right side first, then the middle and then the left side. All right, so sew in all your loose tails in the back of your work. Turn your bathing suit with the back side of the bathing suit facing you and this is where you're going to begin to make the little edging. Take your crochet hook and join anywhere you want on that side of the back, on that last row of the back of your bathing suit with your crochet hook and your yarn. Chain one and in that same stitch you're going to make a single crochet. You're going to continue to single crochet along towards your strap picking up each stitch as it presents itself to you. There you go, and then when you reach the strap, you're going to pick up stitches up along your strap. You're going to pick up two single crochet before the star pattern, and you're going to pick up two single crochets on the star pattern. So two before the star pattern, and one in each of the single crochet rows and then we'll pick up one on the bottom part of your star and one on the upper part of your star. And that is what you're going to do going all the way up the side of your strap until you reach the front part of your bathing suit. And when you do reach the front part of your bathing suit, you're just continuing to pick up single crochet along as they present themselves to you. And you remember those 18 stitches on each side of your stitch marker we had? So in between the straps, you should have 36 single crochets that you pick up. 
and you are going to continue until you reach the first single crochet we had made and you're going to slip stitch and fasten off. So in all the loose tails to the wrong part of your work. Now we're going to tackle the middle part of uh, in between the two straps and we're going to do exactly the same thing. So you're going to join at the back of your work, the middle back, and you're going to pick up all the single crochet as they come and going up and down the straps and to the other side, repeating exactly the same way we did on the first strap. And this is what your work will look like when you are done making that border around the straps and creating your collar and your arm opening. And now we're going to do the finishing of the bottom part. And we are going to make the same kind of edging, just a simple single crochet edging. You're going to take your crochet hook and take the back part of the bottom and just join with your yarn and you're going to go up and down the sides of your bathing suit. I would say that I picked up about two single crochets per three rows and I went and picked them up down the side of the bottom of my of the bottom back of my bathing suit and I went down all the way down until I reached that middle part and for that middle part I just picked up one single crochet per row and for that middle part there where we had 18 rows of straight single crochet the in between your leg strap I picked up one single crochet per row and then I went to the front part and I single crocheted my way up doing the same thing picking up a two single crochet per three rows all the way until I reached the up part the part in between when we had have when we had joined the front and the bottom together with our eight chains and on that I picked up a single crochet per stitch and then I slip stitched with the first um, single crochet we had made and I did exactly the same thing to the opposite side the important thing is that you count the number of stitches you pick on each side and just copy exactly the same thing to the other side so both of your sides are symmetrical and that is it my friends we have just created the perfect in my eyes one piece bathing suit I really 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 love it it took me a long time to create it I wanted it to be perfect for you but I can see myself wear this all the time and feel really good about myself there is nothing that is showing up too much um, and it's the material is stretchy so it actually uh, makes my body looks really firm <laughs> firmer than it is anyway so yes i hope you like it i absolutely love it and i really enjoyed creating it for you i am very happy with the result let me know what you think and i am looking forward to many more tutorials in the future so in the meantime happy crochet love you Mwah. see you next time anyway my as head this. You know, I mean, it is what it is. This is the top. Wait, wait, wait. But I, it, anyway, so yes. What else can I tell you? Um, let me face you, right? Much better. Because I wanted to, the, uh, black and uh, get ready to spend my microphone. Bell button, net, na, 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 na. To produce content, content, proud of and at peace with. No, that's not the way to say it, Anna. Comment that makes. Oh, that makes so much different. So, <laughs> thank you so much. I also wanted to thank you. I think I might do a blanket, or maybe a handbag, or maybe a top, or maybe the three of them. <laughs> 
ça va pas, ça va pas du tout. Oh, a rebel. Stay on the left. Or maybe on the right, I don't know. Ben ouais, ben voilà quoi, c'est tout. Euh, Qu'est-ce que je peux dire encore Keep on watching. Ça va pas, non, dans la tête, c'est n'importe quoi.